Hello everybody, I'm gonna do my weeks 18 and 19 um, pregnancy update. Right, so I am actually 20 weeks and one day today, which is super exciting. Like, for the last two weeks, <laughs> I've been like, yes, 18 weeks, almost 20 weeks. Because <laughs> 20 weeks, I think just about every new mom is super excited about being halfway done or possibly. For me, both my boys were born three days before their due date, so beyond halfway point for me. Um, but I feel like that doesn't count really because you don't really find out you're pregnant until like, you know, four, five, six weeks along already. So the second half always feels like three times as long as the first half. So whatever, it's still halfway, <laughs> right? It's now like the countdown. One other mom had mentioned that, you know, you start at 40 weeks, which sounds like a very long countdown, but now it's 20 weeks. So you go like 19, 18 weeks. Sounds a little bit a little bit more reachable anyway, but 20 weeks is one of those weeks that's like a huge goal for me to get to, so I was excited. <laughs> um, so I definitely got bigger, like I knew I was getting bigger, but it like really wasn't like a huge difference until seriously like the night, like the night before I turned like 20 weeks, I swear I had a growth spurt overnight or something, because it's like definitely there. Like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know, maybe I can still hide it. Maybe people won't notice, but there's a lady that works at a grocery store that I go to, and she <laughs> came up to me right away, and she's like, oh, are you seeing a baby bump? <laughs> I was like, okay, maybe I can't hide it. <laughs> and then my sister said the same thing, like, that very day. And her comment was, oh my gosh, you're so big. <laughs> so I had to laugh, because I was like, okay, maybe not. Maybe I can't hide it anymore. But and maybe if someone didn't know I was pregnant, they would just think maybe I'm that right there. <laughs> uh, I thought it was funny. Um, what else? So Ben felt the baby. My husband felt the baby from the outside uh, this morning, actually. Like, I've been feeling it for a while, but it was, like, so slight. Like, it was only at lunchtime or at nighttime when I'm, like, just sitting still. And it seems to be when the baby's the most active. Um, but yeah, he was like, oh yeah, I definitely feel him moving around. So that was super exciting to me. <laughs> I think to him too. Uh, what else? Um, so at week 18, I think it was, like, I don't know, I was feeling really fat. <laughs> like, I know your belly is getting bigger, but I felt like other areas were getting bigger too. And I was so, like, down about it, I didn't want to weigh myself at all that week. So I was trying to keep it up to date, like, every week, just to help myself keep track of it. So I didn't weigh myself that week, and then this week I had a midwife appointment, or I guess it was like 19 weeks and 6 days or something, it was the very last day. And according to my midwife's um, like calculations of every time I've come in, so like every month starting at week 12, um, I've gained 2 pounds every single um, appointment, which is not bad to me. So according to hers, her, um, her records I guess. I'm 126 pounds now, and I started at 120, so I was like, whatever, that works for me. <laughs> um, so this last two weeks I've been feeling more encouraged to eat healthier. Like, I'm not so like, I need to have sweets at night or I need to munch on things throughout the day. I've been like, really wanting to have like salads and making veggie wraps and things like that. Um, and I've been toning a lot more just at home, I've actually been motivating myself to just like do some little things at home to keep myself in shape um, and I stopped running pretty much all together like I don't know I started like not looking forward to it at all I was starting to dread running because I was starting to feel uncomfortable and then this last week I tried like a couple different like sprints like not super fast or hard or anything but just running a little bit and it was like so uncomfortable it started making me really crampy so I was like okay not running <laughs> anymore I think we're done <laughs> with the running, which is kind of a relief. Now it's a lot easier. I just get to walk or do the elliptical. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know, I don't think I mentioned this before, but I, like, I still pee a lot during the day. I feel anytime I drink anything, I don't know. It hasn't really stopped since the first trimester, but I don't get up during the night to do it until, like unless my boys wake up during the night and then I'm like up already, so I might as well. Um, but I'm sleeping fine otherwise. Um, no cravings or aversions. Uh, 
like my normal cravings. The only thing I've been really loving, but I like it every time I'm pregnant, is I have a whole wheat bagel with peanut butter on it every morning with my cup of coffee, and I like forward to that so much. Like, I really love it. <laughs> I don't know, I just really like it. Um, what else? The smells are just super, super strong. They don't make me sick, but they're just super strong. Like, my sister who's staying with us wears these, like, Victoria's Secret sprays and, like, Bath and Body Works, and <laughs> every time she smells them or comes in the room, I'm like, whoa, man. I can smell that from, like, yards and yards away. Like, it's, it's like, to me, it's, like, super strong. <laughs> um, what else? Let's see. Oh, okay, so at my midwife appointment, um, it was actually a really good appointment. I brought in all my boys, <laughs> my two boys and my husband, and so, yeah, they felt totally at home. They had no problem being there. Um, but this time I had protein in my urine, which was kind of we is weird for me, I should say. I never, I don't think I've ever had protein in my urine. Maybe once. But, so it was like a little bit weird to me, but my midwife and I were talking about it, like, why? And then she was saying, asking me like how much protein I was eating, and I was thinking like, oh yeah, I still eat meat, like I eat meat and I still have some dairy, but then I was comparing it to my other pregnancies. And both of my pregnancies, especially my first one, I craved eggs, like, a lot. Like, I would eat a huge bowl of, egg, like, plate of eggs, scrambled eggs, like, five or six eggs <laughs> with cheese on top. Like, I loved me some protein. Um, and I used to eat lots of yogurts, like, parfaits. I'd make myself, like, fruit parfaits. And I've just cut those things out a lot more because I don't have good, like, farm-raised eggs handy that are affordable. And I was just trying not to eat quite so much dairy as before because it doesn't do well in my stomach um, when I'm pregnant, <laughs> not if I overdo it. So I was thinking, well, I guess I could probably try to up that a little bit more. So that's what my goal is. She said, I bet you if you just up your protein, it won't be in there. She said, it won't be a problem. Like, it's pretty normal to have protein in your urine as long as you, like, it's not every single week. And there might be a problem. So when are we trying to do that? Um, what else was happening? Hey, Hello? What are you doing? Making a vlog for the baby. What? Sorry? I, uh, uh, I want to do my... Yes, you are. So... You can sit next to me if you sit quiet, okay? Okay. Can you want to see me? Yeah, I can see you. Um, hold on, hold on. I gotta talk now, okay? <laughs> I'm almost done. Um, oh yeah, so baby's heartbeat, um, she said again was like really hard to hear, which I was kind of surprised, I was hoping the boys would be able to hear it on the stethoscope this time, but she said actually it's really pretty common to sound like far away and like kind of be hard to hear at 20, well 19, almost 20 weeks, um, so she's like that's not worrying me at all, like she's like you're measuring, like she was feeling my uterus, which when I lay down is very prominent, you can see exactly where my uterus is. And she was like, oh yeah, you're 20 weeks. Like, your uterus feels fine, because I still feel like I'm a little bit small. <laughs> so she's like, yep, everything's normal. Bye. Um, she said, it's by next time. I'll be I do so. almost 24 Bye. weeks. And she said, but sure, by then you'll be able to hear the heartbeat really well. Um, I think that was pretty much it that we had talked about. It's blood pressure and everything was fine this time. Um... Sorry, but she did mention placenta encapsulation because I had said I'd, I might want to try that this time. The only reason I didn't other times was one, because of the money, and also because I never had problems with like um, milk supply. And especially since this baby's gonna be in the summer, I don't think I'll have any problem with like the baby blues. I got that a little bit with um, Britton, my second, but I had him in the like middle of January, which is a depressing month anyway. <laughs> And yeah, it wasn't that bad, but I, my husband was like, yeah, you were kind of depressed for about a week. So I was like, yeah, I guess I probably agree with that. <laughs> so, um, but I still think there's like other benefits to it possibly. I think I'll probably bring it up to my husband more towards the end of the pregnancy and see what he thinks about it. Um, but I have a really great person I know now that she explained exactly what she does to it. And it sounds so like, like more professional, I guess. And not so it's so like <laughs> barbaric <laughs> than even just saying like you're encapsulating your placenta like it sounds like really legit and I'm kind of excited I'm really hoping it works oops I think I might have been covering this speaker so anyway 
I think that's it for these weeks. I will update you again in a, in two weeks. Thoughts? All right, guys. See you later.